fellow graduate student and I um, at the University of Minnesota hopped in a car and drove to Chicago for the 1979 uh, AIHCE. It was a great experience, really a fun learning experience for two young uh, folks. The next year, 1980, I joined uh, the association and, and really got heavily involved with AIHA through the Exposure Assessment Strategy Committee in, oh, the late 1980s or so. And uh, and really, that's been one of the most rewarding professional experiences of my life, something that I, I truly treasure. My experience to date uh, with the board uh, has been uh, great. I've gotten to know staff and my fellow board members. They are all extremely competent. Uh, they're energetic uh, and wonderful to work with. We respect each other. We enjoy working together. Uh, I have absolutely no qualms about um, my transition into the role of president uh, was such a great organization behind me. It's just been uh, wonderful so far and I have no qualms about uh, next steps. My biggest challenge is gonna be keeping up with the fast pace of the association and, and the many things that are taking place. Uh, both in general, uh, as an association, we've got um, things happening very broadly uh, across the profession from local sections to laboratory accreditation to the conference to uh, e-learning activities. So uh, keeping up with those things uh, will um, keep me plenty busy. In addition, in addition to those general activities, the changed world that we're going to be living in as a result of the COVID pandemic is uh, going to present some uh, real opportunities for us. I think we're in a good place to meet those opportunities, uh, but I believe the approach to uh, learning has probably shifted from in-person to um, a more virtual approach, uh, and so we'll have to respond to that shift. The approach to meetings generally with the increased popularity of Zoom and experience with Zoom uh, is shifting things to virtual. And I think uh, our association needs to uh, be ready for that continued shift as we move out of the pandemic uh, into this changed world. My top priorities uh, uh, really are around helping the association uh, learn from our COVID uh, experience. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to need to adapt to a world that has changed in the way that people uh, interact with uh, training, the way that people interact with each other. I don't think Zoom is going to totally go away. I think uh, we've learned to find ways to be very productive through Zoom and other platforms. And so I think the association will need to uh, pivot and uh, learn how to engage with our members, engage actually with uh, OHES professionals around the world through those virtual venues. And uh, I, I believe we're very well positioned to do that. And the other uh, area that I'm excited about is uh, sort of doing um, a look back at things that worked well or didn't work well in our technical responses to the uh, COVID pandemic so that we can better learn and make forward looking recommendations and, and guidance for how, can, how we can best respond to any new p pandemic that might come down the pike. But at this uh, coming years uh, conference 2021, I'm excited again about the focus on learning and the ability to engage in the technical sessions. I'm also excited to see what new things are in store for uh, the expo and what new things are in store for networking. I think uh, our excellent uh, conference planning staff has some uh, great things in store for us and I'm excited to see uh, how those all work at the virtual session. To be honest, I was a little concerned going into it as a, even as a participant, uh, because I've grown up with the in-person conferences and, and really have enjoyed the networking in particular, uh, the education uh, opportunities, the, the chance to, to meet with experts in various areas. I was extremely uh, pleasantly surprised by the 2020 virtual conference, uh, primarily because it gave me the opportunity to really focus on, on learning. I found that the uh, virtual sessions were very well done. Um, the 
ability to interact through the chats was probably not quite as um, sort of in uh, personal feeling as an in-person conference, but uh, people were good about responding to the questions. And, and my guess is that uh, folks participating were more uh, willing to uh, write in a question than they might have been to stand up at a microphone and, and ask the question in an in-person session. So from the standpoint of, of learning, I uh, enjoyed the virtual, uh, virtual session actually more than the in-person session where a person uh, it seems like we're always trying to rush and get to the next session and we get there a little late and there aren't any seats, uh, et cetera. And it, all of that was taken away in the 2020 virtual session and, and I was able to focus on uh, the learning, get engaged. My engagement with the association and, and in particular the Exposure Assessment Strategies Committee has been one of the most rewarding professional experiences in my career. And I think it's something that I would want for every OHES professional to have that kind of opportunity to engage and learn and contribute. Uh, I promise that every one of our members has something to contribute to the association and the profession. And that's a great way to do it, to, to get involved with uh, our association and the many, many technical committees, the many, many volunteer opportunities, local section, national. Uh, just do it. Just step up and get engaged and uh, you'll find it rewarding.